Okay, when you study geometric means, you usually will have some pictures where you have to find the geometric mean. I want you to look at this, and this is the altitude. Here's my large triangle. There's the altitude, which is perpendicular um, to the hypotenuse. And it says the length of the altitude is the geometric mean. So I get to use this formula of the length of the two segments of the hypotenuse. So that means with this hypotenuse, I can call one part the A and the other part the B. So I'm going to say 6 over X equals X over 3. So one uh, for, is A, one will be B. And cross multiply. So 18 equals X squared. And then you take the square root of both sides to free up the x. 18 is um, 9 times 2. And the square root of 9 is 3 root 2, which equals the x. Um, and you may or not may not be added asked to make that into a decimal. All right. But sometimes they don't ask you for the altitude. Maybe they're going to ask you for a leg. Okay, so we're going to handle a little different. We're still going to use the geometric mean, but the length of each leg of the right triangle is a geometric mean, so this one, of the length of the hypotenuse and the segment of the hypotenuse that is adjacent to the leg. So what you do with this is the A is going to have to be the one adjacent to the one you're looking for. If they were looking for this one, I'd have to use the 5. And then the B is not is going to be the entire hypotenuse, so you will have to add the two together. So five plus two is seven. So this problem will be two over x equals x over the seven, which comes from two plus five. So I have fourteen equals x squared. Take the square root of both sides, and the square root of fourteen it won't break down. They may ask you for a decimal or they may let you leave it just like that.